I wanna put on my, my, my bucky shoes. My name is Christopher Lee Brown Jr. from the movie Kingdom World and welcome back to my channel. Before I give you my thoughts and what I thought about the movie Knockout Cabin, here's the premise. Also, this kind of going to be also somewhat spoiled. If you've seen the title, yes, they, in the movie, before the ending, they spoil what's going to happen. And I don't fucking like that. So, you'll see that this movie is... Well, I didn't overall enjoy it because of that part, which I will get into later. But here's the premise. While vacationing, a girl and her parents are taken hostage by armed strangers who demand that the family makes a choice to avert the apocalypse. Before I give you, you know, what I really didn't like about this movie, said this movie, this movie is well acted. Dave Bautista did a definitely a good job. Probably one of them, people say he's probably the best Russell Tone actor, and it's probably true. People say Dwayne Johnson, but um, can Dwayne Johnson pull off a dramatic role? I don't think not. I think he just want to focus on making stupid, funny comic book movies. But I guarantee he can't pull that. Can Dwayne Johnson pull off a good serial, psychotic serial killer? I don't think so. Dave Bautista can. Dwayne Johnson, take notes. But that's a different topic. But, and also it's really well shot. So, the style, I like the mood and atmosphere the, of the vibe that movie gave, gave was really cool. But here, here's the setup of the movie. After like the credits roll, we get introduced to this little girl who was catching like, I think butterflies or some like crickets. He, she's into that type of stuff the girl saw in the trailer. And after a couple minutes roll, like Dave Bautista character showed up. And she's got scared because she said never talk, talk to strangers, which is true. But she's gullible and you know how to catch cricket. So the scene played out was really cool, was really good, was really well acted and put together really good. He gave, gives us this creepy vibe, but somehow makes it not creepy at all. Hopefully that makes sense. But... Towards the end of the conversation, he kind of turns a little bit creepy, and then she got scared, so she went to her house mm, to tell her dad about what just happened. Mm, mm, her parents, these these two, her parents are gay. These two guys are are gay, are a gay couple, which is fine. Not the one with that, but so mm, they shows the logo told. Their dad's about like what happened, what just went down, and then you heard the knock at the cap, the knock on the, on the door, like what you saw in the trailer. So and these, so these, I think it was, I think these four, these four people, the four um strangers walk into the house and then tell what was going on that. There's this populace is happening, and the only way you guys could stop it is to basically kill one each other. Which is, this is a cool premise, and even though I'm with mix on this movie, this is so far, by far, for me, M. Night Shyamalan's best movie. But here's the overall problem. After one of the armed strangers, Con concussed one of the one one of the dads in the movie. It flashback to like, how they met, which is the first part. The first one I, I was confused by. Then the second one I I, I can't figure out what's going to happen. Like, cause it was keep fast, not fast falling, but does keep going back in the in the present, not present day, but keeps going back in the in the past to how these two guys met. So I'm um, quickly figure out, oh, one of these guys going to get killed. Which I, I'm not, if you know me, I'm not a big fan of movies keep going, keep coming back, going back and forth. Because one, it's confusing, like the first one. And majority of the time it's confusing. Um, Quentin Tarantino, 
he's not a great director. In my personal opinion, Quentin Tarantino is not a great director because he keeps doing that like Pulp Fiction. It was way too confusing. And two, this movie is overly long. long. Three, um, he keeps showing girls' feet, which is creepy as fuck. I don't know why he fascinated his feet, but okay. And four, he used the N-word, so he's a racist. In my personal opinion. If you love Quentin Tarantino, you are welcome to the channel. This channel. We all get something different. For me, Quentin Tarantino is not a great director, in my opinion. And the reason why I don't like movies that keep going back and forth, one is, like I said, it's confusing. Two is, is, for me, it's sloppy. It's messy, in my opinion. And this is the overall one. And this movie is guilty of doing this. It, it brings down the tension and suspense. It brings down because I feel, okay, so one of these guys at the end is going one of the arms is going to kill them or one of the other couple is going to kill one of each other. Which that basically happened. So I knew what was, like, was going to happen at the end. So it kind of drowned my experience. And I don't like movies do that because it's bring down because there's still no attention or suspense. Like when it, it did happen, I didn't feel anything because I knew what was going to happen. And that's not a great direction. I, that's not a great filmmaking if you, the movie spoils going, what's going to happen. I just don't like that at all. So, I guess that's the overall narrative. I did not like, like how they executed that movie, in my opinion, because of, of that. So, people say, oh my god, you spoiled the movie, like, the movie spoiled itself, because, like, even I'm not a smart person. I know that for a fact. I'm not that bright of a person. But I could figure out, like, what's going to happen, because they showed it what's going to happen, because they keep fla flash flowing into, like, how they meet. And then, like, I think the third, third or the fourth one, when they keep going back, they show how it basically is, like, the opening of the trailer, well, these two guys driving to the vacation home, and then the girl singing My 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 Boogie Shoes, that song. Basically, that's the middle part of the movie. I'm then, so this I will have done it. Like, the opening, after the opening credits began, I will be showing them these two guys driving down the road with their girl, and the girl sings the Boogie Shoe song. Then, once you get home, you could, they settle down. Maybe five minutes, like, a little bit older five minutes in, you could have that scene where that girl was catching the cricket. Why put it in the middle of the movie? Like, why? Makes no fucking sense. Like, I just don't get that type of filmmaking, in my opinion. I just don't. As a director, I've not done that because it makes no sense, in my opinion. It's stupid. It's lame. But, like, overall, like, the atmosphere, the creepy vibes, I love, I love, like, the acting as well, was well done, especially Dave Bautista, since he was a wrestler. But, and it was well shot as well, too, but that's just the biggest thing that drowned this movie, the experience for me, it was that. If that didn't happen, if they didn't keep going back and forth and spoil you like what's going to happen at the end of the movie. This probably would be only on, only on physical media. But I have to give this movie a stream it. Sorry, but I just don't like that type of filming. Filmmaking. And that filmmaking called fuck itself and why in the fucking face. Because I, it makes no sense to do that. Comment down below, like, why, if you like those type, that type of filmmaking, why? I want a great answer so I could at least, at least, so I'm, cause I'm curious, like, like, why that filmmaking is actually a good idea. For me, it, one's, like I said, one confusing and two is going to bring down suspense. When that scene happens, when, when those, when those, when the couple's going to kill each other. I'm not going to tell you, but 
it spoiled the suspense, spoiled like the impact of what's going to have. Like, oh fuck, seriously? Because I guess didn't like it that execution. So, like I said, this movie gets a streamer for me because of that. So, if you have seen the movie, comment down below what your thoughts on it. So, that will be it for to, for this video. Remember to comment down below, hit the, the thumbs up button, share this video, subscribe to our notification bell button, follow my Facebook movie group at Movie Hand in Kingdom Land, and that will be it. And remember, good vibes only.